Phantom 4 Damage Assessment Check if the mounting pieces for the four propeller bases are damaged or deformed. Rotate the motors to check if the motors are scratched, deformed, or stuck. Check if the top cover is scratched or deformed. Check if the battery compartment is deformed or damaged. Check if the middle cover is scratched or deformed. Check if the bottom cover and the visual positioning system are scratched or deformed. Check if the left and right landing gears are deformed or damaged. Remove the eight screws on the gimbal. and check if the waterproof sticker on the main control board has been exposed to water and turned red. Check if the gimbal's power board, the fan components, the accelerometer, and the vibration damping plate are deformed or damaged. Check if the R-axis bracket, the rear R-axis ESC cover, and the P-axis bracket are scratched or deformed. Check if the Y-axis cable cover, FBC flat cable, and rear lens cover are scratched or deformed. Rotate the Y-axis motor, R-axis motor, and P-axis motor to check if the motors are loose or stuck. Check if the front lens casing and UV filter are damaged. Mount the gimbal onto the aircraft, then power on the aircraft. Power on the remote controller and connect it with the mobile device. Launch the DJI GO app and check if the video downlink is working properly. Toggle the pitch wheel on the remote controller to check if the gimbal can rotate properly. Check if the camera can shoot photos and record videos normally. Check if the various parameters in the app's flight status bar are normal. Fly the aircraft forward and backward to check if the forward-facing obstacle sensor indicator reacts normally. Fly the aircraft up and down to check if the aircraft's altitude indicator changes accordingly in the app. Check if the difference in voltage between battery cells, the battery's life, the battery cycles, and the battery temperature are all normal in app. Use a magnetic screwdriver, move it towards compass 1 and compass 2, and check if the compass parameters change in the app. Enter self-check mode from the flight status bar to see if there are any other abnormalities. Use the combination stick command to launch the motors to check if their rotational speeds are normal, and check if there are any abnormal sounds coming from the motors, or if the motors are stuck. 